Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer and show me how to win five, top five video. Today Hi. we are here with Jackie and we are doing a top five. Yes. Which one are we doing? We're doing top five mechanics. All right, hopefully I know what that is. <laughs> we each deduced five top five ga top five mechanics from our list here and uh, we did it different ways. How did you do yours? Yeah. So um, when we decided it's going to be mechanics, I went to BGG and I just did, I just print out all their, their filter mechanics. So there's all these mechanics. I'm surprised that some of the things I thought was a mechanic, like for example, deduction or dexterity, they actually don't count them as mechanics. They count them I as categories. I do. So my list is going to be a little more flexible. Like for instance, flicking in a game, that is a mechanic. You're mechanically flicking. Well, according to BGG, it's not. I don't care about BGG. But here it is. Here it is. Okay. Nevertheless, I'm sure I'll get um, joked at as I announce my favorite mechanics, but I think we're going to get into it the same way we always do. We'll take our die, we'll roll it, the person who wins will decide who goes first and yes. who goes second for our number five. All right. Ready? Yep. One. Oh, me too. We roll again. And also, we don't need this one. All right. Yeah. Five. Five. Oh my God. You are cheating. That is weird. A six. One. A one. Um, I will go first to avoid the laughter and hysterity <laughs> of going last on this one. And my number five involves a lot of people around the table, but only one of them is the bad guy. And or possibly the good Social guy. Social deduction? It is a one versus many type oh. of game. So for instance, one like the others yeah, or like yeah, Jack's yeah. friends yeah. as well, yeah. in which one person is the giant and the other people are trying to steal from the giant as he tries to smush them and uh, stop them from getting their stuff. It could be hidden roles, but it's mostly not. It's, you know, even a dungeon crawler could fit in with this category and or mechanic, however you want to look at it. I think this is a mechanic, right? A one versus many. Yeah, and the others, your favorite game, yep. right? The one you gave me a good strategy tip on. I do, yes. I do definitely like that. Yeah. Which is interesting because my favorite, one, one of, basically my favorite game is actually not one in my favorite, many. is not my favorite mechanic, which is, I guess, weird, but. Pretty sure that's a category. Yeah, I mean, it's, me I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, so you like the one versus many, as if, as in the others, but not as in Fury of Dracula, right? Because that's, that, that, that's a hidden movement game. So one is Dracula, everybody's trying to find them. So in that sense, it's, it's sort of one versus many. I would figure but, that would be part of, that would be another mechanic to the game, hidden movement. Yeah, that's why, that's why it's a category, because it's a category and then the category has different mechanics. I see. But you like the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and Jack. That game. J Jack's friends, yeah. All right, cool. I tried. Go ahead. Show, <laughs> tell them what a real mechanic is. <laughs> My number five mechanic is trick taking. So uh, games like Fox the Fox in the Forest, oh, right? It's one. a trick taking game. So uh, when I love playing bridge growing up. Tournament at Camelot. Oof, right. That was good. Yeah, and uh, I wrote down a whole bunch. Also. Uh, so Bridge is basically what inspired me to love trick-taking games. Um, Trickster, yep. Indulgence, Diamond, and Fox in the Forest, they all basically sort of take after Bridge. You have a trump, if you will, in the uh, Fox in the Forest. And um, Indulgence also, there's a trump. And then uh, in Diamonds, there's no trump, but then Diamonds are better than all the other Obviously. actions. And then... Um, there is tricksters is like, kind of like a, you pick the different characters but still you try to take a trick so basically play the largest one or the one that's the best card and i do love it because it involves memory because i kind of like to this would be easy memorize. in my top 10 mechanics yeah. i love these type of games terminal camelot yeah. is one of my favorite games and for good reason because it has a lot of strategy but it also has a lot of fun when it comes down to like you want to play your best card, but it might not be the best card on the table. Do you try to count cards? In that one, no. In some of them, like this one, yes. Yeah, it I, depends how I, small the game I'm is. I'm very good at counting cards, so I... Can you do it on that one, too? Because that one, you don't... I might. You have to have enough players to get all the cards out, otherwise you're yeah. not going to, which makes yeah. it more difficult. But you'll remember what comes out, what came out already, right? Yeah, so you'll know, you can, yeah. you'll know what you can't, what yeah, you can't exactly. play or shouldn't exactly. play. So in a way... You know, uh, perfect information, which the I better really information. Like. Yeah, you love that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Awesome trick taking. 
An That's actual fine. mechanic. <laughs> and a good one, too. <laughs> All right. Number four. Number four. Three. One. Go ahead. Be nice now, because I think this one's a good mechanic, actually. <laughs> My number four is hand management. Yep. So, uh, basically, games like Arboretum. Uh, We're playing this live tonight, yes, even though it's I brought it. <laughs> a week probably ago. Um, yeah. Arboretum, London, Imperial Settlers, um, La Granja. So, basically, you can only keep so many cars and every turn you get more but you have to decide what to keep and what to ditch uh, or cards can be used in different ways like in La Granja and Imperial Settler so you can use this card as this way or you can ditch it for money or you can play it the other way so how do you utilize your cards to make that decision I enjoy that kind of brain burning yep. you know uh, gameplay so I love that mechanic cam management it's one, of those ga it's one of those mechanics that were, if somebody would ask me to play that kind of game, I would say yes, like yeah. easily hands down. It's a yeah. game that I, I, it's a mechanic that on any game I've ever played, I've yeah. enjoyed playing yeah. at least that aspect of the game. So, yeah. a good choice. Thank you. Mine. <laughs> is it a mechanic? It is. Okay. <laughs> I believe. Like uh, Celestia, it's press your press luck. Your luck. This one is, there's a ton of those out there where you're trying to crawl, crawl through a, a castle or a graveyard or what's the other one where you gotta go through a cave and you have to escape before it's too late. There's, there's a lot of them. But the idea in this one is you're traveling across these different locations, you're rolling a die and hoping that the captain has what is needed to get across. Yeah. And continually like, oh yeah, I do or no, I don't. But pressing your luck is basically, do you want to continue? And the answer is always yes, because you can get the best thing. However, if you say yes, you might get nothing. You which... should play Inca Gold. I have that one. That's the one where you yeah. gotta go through the tunnel and you have to come out. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea you is... You always stay. You, you always stay. Out. Yeah, I always stay. That's my that's my downfall. I love the games uh, with Pressure Luck in them. Welcome to the Dungeon is another one. However, I get get messed over in those games because I always want to get the best and continue and continue. Uh, this one's no different. It's a little more cooperatively played. Have you played this one before? Yeah, I have. Um, but it feels very similar. I was forced to play it. You didn't like it? If I oh. were to do my least, like lowest five, the opposite of top five of mechanics, number one would be press your luck. That's how really? much I hate pressing my luck. Even with, even with Celestia compared to Ink and Gold. Well, how, did you see how many times I rolled a one? <laughs> but you're working together, <laughs> sort of. You're working together, sort of. If anybody played press your luck game with me, they'll be out of luck, too. It's, we'll, we'll lose. Cooperative pressure luck, <laughs> out of luck. I know. Well, that was mine. Pressure luck. It's a mechanic? Yes. It yeah! Is. Yes! Definitely a mechanic. Let's see if I if I can roll a little better this time. Two! Five. Right. I roll a five. Um, I'll go first. Okay. This is... You You actually talked about this with a friend then last time. So my number three is uh, auction. That's okay, my, that was our top five last week? Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite mechanic. So um, I it really enjoy Reiner Kinesia games, uh, his top three, his uh, three trilogies in uh, auction. So Modern Art, Medici, and Ra. Um, I own two of the three and yeah. uh, I've only played Modern Art. We have the card game here. We, we actually don't, I have a Modern Art at home, but I didn't bring it. I have Medici at home, did not bring it, but here's the Medici card game. So basically, um, I like auction because you're playing the player. In, in auction games, you Come are on, trying to side people out. Come on, a little more. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she likes to torture people in games, is what she's saying. No, I, I like player how, interaction. I'm sure this is a common phrase you use in auction games. How many do you have exactly? That's something you, you say on the occasion. Oh, oh I you know. you have four. Oh, I know how many five. they have. I know how many. Oh, you don't even need to ask no, then. No. Not I, not even to be mean, like you know how much they have, but no. you just want to let them know. Well, I have eyes, I can see. <laughs> but it's even nicer just to just to just to screw the knife in a little more, you know. Oh, you have five? I bid six. <laughs> no, I would just yeah, I'm not that kind of player. We just played a game and she tortured us all. Yeah, but I didn't do it that way. I just like Straight up torture you. I won't go. <laughs> I won't cut. I won't go around. I'll just be like right in your face. You Fair lost. enough. Auction games are cool. I just yeah. don't play a lot of them, which is sad because she knows a lot of them. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite one from the top five was um, Cursed Court, and uh, that's a really fun game, which she hasn't played yet. No, so I, I need to, I need to show her that. I one. played 
most of the auction game I play often are older games, like you know, before two thousand yep. or you know. That's so, an older mechanic too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. All right, what's your number three? All right, mine <laughs> is. Did I even bring one? Oh, I did. Uh, tile placement and or world building. Uh, I like the aspect of building worlds in games, like for instance, Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This is a game in which you're going to basically be building a castle and at the end of the game, uh, based on how many things you got in your castle, mm -hmm. you're gonna score points. Uh, it is a beautiful game, and I think world building games are really cool because you get to see what you've made at the end of the game and how it's functioned. I, I mean, there's, there's tons of those style games out there, but this is one of my favorites as far as how it looks at the end. And of course, the wonderful little wow, organizer. Nice. I would not play this game unless I had this. Is it broken token? It is. So I'm very glad that this showed up. Almost as glad as I'm about this plane flying overhead. <laughs> but world building is a great thing. Tile placement is also fun. Um, I, I definitely, definitely enjoy it. I think a lot of people who like uh, seeing their own creation come out yeah. is, is going to be interested in this. Yeah. Artist type of feel. But yes. Uh, tile placement or world building. Cool. Mechanic, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Definitely. Number two. Four. Five. Ah! You know what? I'll go first because okay. uh, my number two is also tiling. Oh, fair yeah, enough. Tile placement. So, um, now, would you consider that also world building or just anything with tile placement? I consider that tile. I, I like tile placement, not necessarily world world building. Like the game we played last, where we actually were building our little like town. Yeah. Or like, do you like Castles of Mad King Ludwig? I'll then? tell you the difference. Okay. I don't like that game, but I like Carcassonne. I like that's world uh, building. I'll tell you the difference though. Uh, Galaxy Trucker. This one's just meaner. This is meaner castles. No, it's and uh, putting Alhambra. things on places to mess with. No, people. I like <laughs> having a parameter on what you can or cannot place. So Carcassonne, you have to match the size. So if yeah. there's a row. It has to connect to a road. If and you have to make sure the, the road or the, 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 the town or the river, all that kind yeah. of stuff. And there's a ton of stuff. Do you have, do you have the, all the expansions too then? I have two expansions. It's more than me. I got two. the river. That's it. Came with a box. <laughs> <laughs> I have a couple expansions. Um, like you say, I enjoy seeing the world come grow. about, uh, but grow and then, but I also like a structure. So, um, too much keep, sandbox yeah, is no good. Look, wait, you can put anything connect to whatever. Usually, the I only like thing that. is the hallway, right? Yeah, so, you have certain rules with the stairs and hallways. Plus, and... I personally don't like the design of that game. What? I it's prefer beautiful. things that are a little bit more pretty. <laughs> hey, this is a pretty game. Are you serious? But you're, talking about, you're talking about the art for the box? The, the game, like the, the game itself? <sighs> the art, the, the box is great, but the game, the, the tiles... It's okay. Yeah, they're it's just okay. generic. They're just generic because they have to have, they're, they're different size. I, I use my imagination when I'm thinking about my courtyard and my well, that's, dungeon. That's why he went mad because... He just was, he's was living, everywhere. He's living in a house that's just... Crazy. All right, that's my number two. Which is a re which is a crossover as your number three. Fair enough. Yeah. It's a little different though. We have a little different reasons yeah. as we why we yeah. like it. But I think we both like. I like all the games you're, you were listing. Ma making the things yep. that you know, making making them, see see them grow. come about. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, there's some cool tile placement games which you can like place things in certain areas that mess with your opponents, which will greatly influence. And yes. I like that feeling too, where yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, feels good to place this castle here. Right. Um, my number two is hidden movement. Hidden movement games like The Fury of Dracula oh. here. I also like, <laughs> I also like um, Which Spectre is Ops a... and mm -hmm. uh, I like Mr. X or uh, Letters from Whitechapel. All yeah. those cool hidden movement games, which is what, a category? Is it a category? Yeah, I think so. What? It's hidden? You, you guys, okay, the, the, the act of secretly moving around a board without the other people knowing. I Not know. according to BGG. What? Probably a category. Okay, well, nevertheless, I like the feeling of, uh, of the unknown aspect in the game. You're, you don't know where the play per person is and yeah. how they're going around the board. Uh, they're utilizing secret hidden pieces of paper. But, yeah. um, of course, the fairness in the game, too, where they don't actually, like, cheat and be like, oh, I was actually never there in the race, you know. <laughs> but it's good. I like that feeling. There's a new game coming out from Simon called Narcos, based on the Netflix series. Oh. Yeah, that's actually going to be a hidden movement game. Okay. I, I interviewed the designer, uh, Fel Barros, at... Gen Con, and he told me all about it. So it's basically Pablo versus the hunters. 
Pablo mm -hmm. Esteban, yep. and then he's trying to become the president, and but you don't know where he is, so you're trying to find out where he is. I see. But with miniatures, so I was like, how do you have a miniature when he's hidden? Well, there's a little guy trying to go up to become the president. So I you see. You should check that one out. Have you played Spectre Ops? Yes. That one also has miniatures too for the yes. bad guy and whatnot. Yes. That one's that you was my favorite. Spectre That's my favorite of the of, of the ball, and not for the five hidden identity or whatever. That one is okay, but just the aspect of all the different abilities and whatnot. And it's it's quick and easy. It, you know, all the rest of them are good, like Fury, but they're longer and they have more like complicated. Aspects Do you usually to it. play the guy that's hidden? Yes. Yeah, I like playing the guy that's hidden. I yeah. figure. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Ha. Four. I rolled a one. I'm going second. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Fine. My number one, you'll never guess. It's definitely a category in your opinion, but in mine, it is a mechanic. Can you guess what it is? I tried to turn it into a mechanic, but I don't know if it works or not. Is it is deduction or dexterity? It's it dexterity, is probably. Hidden identities or hidden roles in a game. I'm guessing that's a category, maybe, but nevertheless, it is an aspect of a game I really enjoy. And when you, I just like I social did, deduction. Like, like, like anything, who's the anything trainer? where you have anything where you have a hidden role card. So it oh, could like be resistance. It could be dead of winter. It doesn't necessarily shadow have to. Shadow over Camelot. Uh, or a shadow hunters. I brought it out for a second, but yeah. they don't have. To, you don't have to be like bad guys shadow versus hunters. good guys. It doesn't matter. Just having that hidden aspect to yeah. the game. I like that. Like hidden movement, right? But this is hidden identities. I like that even more. And with Spectre Ops, I didn't much care for. It was okay, but it felt like it was too much. You know, when the are game you, gets too much. Are but, you talking about like? Maybe bluffing? You're trying to like... I mean, it's part of it, right? Like, because you do, people don't it. know what yeah. what you are, what you're doing. You have your hidden objective. Yeah. Um, um, but I like that aspect in a game, which is, I guess, deduction I thought would be a category, whereas a hidden role would be just a mechanic in a game that you would include. Because any game could have a hidden hidden role, a hidden character. You could all be on the same team and each, everybody would just be on different roles, right? Mm -hmm. But I really enjoy those aspects in games. I think that um, usually it makes them better. It's very often times they, it doesn't. You would probably disagree, I would imagine, mm -hmm. because you don't like hidden roles all that much, right? Maybe there's a it's couple fine. games. It's there's fine. a couple of If it's incorporated, incorporated in a clever way. Yeah. Yeah. So that yeah. was my number one. Hidden identities are hidden roles, hidden, hidden cards that you can play as your characters. Okay. So my number one, before I say what my number one is, because I kind of break the rules, I'm going to mention two... Big heavy euro? Two, I'm going to mention two mechanics that I think shouldn't even be considered a mechanic at this point. So number one is worker placement. It's so broad that I don't think it should be considered a mechanic. That that's a mechanic because there's so many hidden roles is not a mechanic, but worker placement yeah, is a mechanic. Yeah, it's actually count as you a mechanic. You know what, BGG? I don't I don't take your word for so, it much now. I mean, I love worker placement games. So I don't consider that a mechanic. I that's a category. This for you, is right? this, like, is, this is, is a mechanic. I I mean, all right. So, uh, but it's on there. So I just want to mention that. Also, oh yeah, fair enough. Another one that they 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 put as a mechanic is variable player power. So to that's me, cool. that's just well, that's just oh, good. That's, thoughtful that's good. design. Yes. It's just thoughtful design. Every game where you play as a character, you should have some kind of unique thing to just do. Exactly. So unless you really have to start equal and then like you take dramatic different paths. Otherwise, it's just... There's the so very few games that Designers are just like... being thoughtful by giving you something different. So I figured that shouldn't be my favorite because that just should be a given in yeah. many cases. So my number one, right? Don't you, don't you agree those two should just be like... You know. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they should both. I mean, well, first of all, worker, worker, placement. worker placement is is a category in yeah. my opinion because yeah. it, it it has so, so many, many games different like worker that, placements, different yeah. styles. Yeah. And then and then yeah, your other one, it, that one's that one's a thoughtful mechanic. And exactly. realistically, every character should have a unique a lot ability of, yeah. because it's very replayability. because it should all be different but all yeah. the same at yeah. the same time. But, but they are listed as. Um, Mechanics. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, those would be good choices for if yeah. if I knew that, then that would probably be my number one. Yeah. Actually, if that was if I couldn't choose my other ones, my number one is kind of an oxymoron. You're not not gonna believe what I, when I say the word dice. It it has dice and it's dice drafting. <laughs> dice drafting is dice where you roll drafting. the die and then you pick one. Right? Yes. So I am not rolling dice to press my lock. Everybody roll the dice, but. After the dice is rolled, you get to take 
what whatever dice you want. Sagrada? And, right? uh, Sagrada, Pulsar, uh, 28, 40, uh, 49, Trois, one of my favorite games. Uh, it's a Euro. We still need to play that at some point. Yeah. Santa Maria, one of my favorite games. Um, Seasons, which oh, yeah, we have right one. here. This is a dice drafting that game. That one's even better than, yeah. than Sagrada, in my opinion. Yeah. And uh, La Granja is also. And, and um, Grand Austria Hotel. So I love, I hate rolling dice, but for some reason, I love dice drafting games. It's so different though, you know? You're yeah, not, you're not, not you're not, same. come on six. Yeah. It, it's more about, uh, I know what's there and I'm yeah. going to select what I want. Mm -hmm. Now I might not have the best options, but I can definitely take one that you want if I don't. Exactly. Or I can take the one I need the, the, the most, but still not the best. Yeah. But I don't necessarily like card drafting because every card is inherently different, right? So, but dice, they all start out the same. When you roll it, gives it you every, solid information yeah, every too. round is going to be completely different based on a die roll. And then you just have to make do with what you have. So, what about why games like, like um, Quarriers? That's a dice drafting game. That's kind of like a I know you don't it's like, like that, a deck. That's like a dice deck building game. Dice building game to me. You draft well, okay. You you do draft dice though. You roll the die, you pick the die that you want in a pool of dice. So you, you sort of have to you have you have purchase power to yeah. buy. So to me that's a deck building. Yeah. Dice it building. is more dice or deck building, definitely. And that that game has too much dice rolling. It has a lot. That's all it is. I right? can't I can't. I, I did like that game. I actually owned it For at some point and then I just do so poorly at it all the time. I decided I just got rid of it. It's a cool little game. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of chance. Yeah. I mean, when you ever have a game that's just It was one dice. of the first uh, in its genre. Basically a, de a, a deck building, but with dice. So yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I would agree. This is this is, this is a great mechanic. Yeah. It's so much fun. Dice I haven't found a game that uh, d does dice drafting that I haven't enjoyed. Or even yeah. games that are more like Quarriers that involve a little more like deck building, dice building. Kind of mm -hmm. like a, uh, Eric Lang's new uh, Quarrier style game with the Marvel characters. Yeah, whatnot. yeah, yeah. That one's even kind of drafting in some way but dice uh, masters yeah yeah it's good as well but um yeah i enjoy that mechanic in general yeah yeah so all of them it's really solid i mean auction whatever i don't i don't have a lot of auction games <laughs> i mean the one she shows is, the, is my game and i don't even pl i haven't even played it yet <laughs> sorry ferdinand thank you for the present but uh <laughs> those were our top five uh mechanics in games that we enjoy hers were right hopefully mine were at least somewhat right you can let me know in the comment section if you disagree with me but uh, nevertheless, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you guys know where we are, and go ahead and uh, tell us about your stuff. All right, so um, if you haven't checked out Show Me How to Win yet, please take a look. Uh, we Basically, we have playthroughs of games where we do different uh, strategies, and we also interview people, designers or expert players, or people that demo the game a lot to ask them how to win at certain games. So if you like winning, check out my channel, Show Me How to Win. That way, when you're playing special games <laughs> that uh, you want a couple like, you know, you don't want to go on BGG and look through all the different, you can just go to her channel, look at the game, and then find out the secret way to win. Or if you're really good at a certain game, you can watch it and see if you agree with what the person's saying. That's a good one. Yeah. Too. That's a good one too. Yeah. Uh, especially, except for mine, don't look at mine. Because do not agree. No, he gave good, he, you gave great tips. We'll see, we'll see. In I'm the comment the section, just be like, no, I disagree. No, those are great tips. But thank you guys for watching. UnfilteredGamer.com, tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more, as well as checking out all YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. We do really appreciate it. Our friends, so EverythingBoardGames.com, <laughs> The Giveaway Geek, and Kess. They do a bunch of great stuff as well. Thank you for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.